<laughs> what is going on? Hello, Joyrider. Welcome to the vlog. What is going on, Joyrider? So we're over here at Late Not Spray. This is the shop that did the wrap on the GT500. He did an awesome job. So we're gonna get ready. We're gonna take a walk inside and we're gonna go over the question that has been asked the most since I've done this wrap is how much did it cost? And how much does it cost to wrap a car? But we're gonna go take a walk inside here and then we're gonna let Randy go over like what you guys should expect to pay. So let's go take a walk inside. All right. I got something super exciting for you guys. We are gonna do a giveaway. So we're gonna pick one or two. We're gonna pick two winners. Two winners. We're gonna <laughs> peace. Right. Sorry. No, we're, we're, right. good. Two we're good. Two two winners. We're gonna give away a free roll of vinyl, any color you guys pick. And then we're also gonna give away a free roof wrap mm -hmm. to anyone. But you guys gotta stay until the end of the video on how to win them. There's no Randy in the shop. Where, I don't know where he um, went. I don't know where he is at, but let's go take some vinyl wrap. Yeah, let's do it. Let's, let's do, do some it. shit. I think he's in there. I bet you he's in the bathroom taking a shit. He probably is. He probably it smells like it. Dude. Yo. What are you doing? Are you in here taking a shit? Uh, I'm developing f bomb. I mean, I'm, I'm wiping my ass. <laughs> Really? <laughs> I'm gonna bombard Randy with a bunch of questions. We're gonna go over everything as far as like how much the wraps cost, the signs of a bad wrap, what to look for, the durability of the wrap, how to care for it, and all those sorts of things. So when it comes to the wraps, what are the popular colors that people choose or? Probably the most popular color I do is a pink. Pink. Purples, are you yellows? Serious? No, no, I'm not. <laughs> I mean, color shifts seem to be the uh, bad nowadays. Color shift? Yeah. yeah. Those look good, I like Definitely those. color shifts. Dark satin, it's kind of like the color you originally wanted to go with. Yeah. But Maybe I'm starting time. to see everything just, I mean, this blue, this blue is a really popular color. Yeah, I like this. So, so if there's certain brands that you recommend for, like let's say somebody that wants to go with a blue, versus someone that wants to go with like a red color, is there different brands that maybe do that color better than the other? Yeah, so we only use about five different brands here because of the durability and the warranty when it comes to those. There's many different types of brands of vinyl out there, but we use Hexus, Avery, 3M, Oracle, Sot, you know, there's plenty of brands like uh, Vivid, you know, just cheaper stuff, which is is fine. But I, the reason why we only picked those few is because of the warranties. But uh, 3M tends to go for more vibrant colors. Okay. Oracle seems to go more paint-like finish colors. All right. So. And what is the warranty like on these? Uh, three to four years is manufacturer warranty. But the durability rating is anywhere from seven to 12 years, depending upon the color. So they'll last seven to 12 years? Yeah, as long is, as you care for Is it. that different for people that, let's say, someone that daily drives their car or somebody that, you know, garage keep? Uh, I mean, if it's garage kept, obviously it'll last longer, but uh, right. you can daily drive it, and as long as you care for it, wash it, wax it, it should be fine. So you wrap everything from tractors to Lamborghinis, right? Fridges, desks. All right, cool. Signs. Yeah. So if anybody wants to wrap their refrigerator, desk, toilet, anything. The, uh, toilet, yeah. Yes. You've done those? Yeah. I've wrapped a toilet seat cover and a yeah. hundred dollar bill. Who was that one guy that hit you up that wanted to have his toilet wrapped? It's last name starts with an F. John something. So with the durability, I'm probably gonna get this wrong, guys. So with all the different wraps you've got that I know of, that you've got a satin finish, gloss finish, and a matte finish. Are those your basic three finishes? Yeah, those are basic three. Finishes. Okay, and with those, is the durability different? Or um, not really. The maintenance is what's so different between the three. Um, Which one's the easiest one to maintain? Satin. Satin's the easiest. Yeah. Why didn't you tell me that? Completely. No, I'm just kidding. No, <laughs> I think you did mention that yeah, too. I did. It is so. the easiest. It feels like butter. Or glass, I guess. Yeah, you yeah it's smooth. And then yeah. the hardest one is matte. Yes. Because it shows everything as like far as fingers. It, it's, and, yeah, it does show everything, but at the same time, it hides a lot too. So I've had uh, a couple customers, we've wrapped their car in matte, and they could go wash their car and not dry it 
and there's no watermarks whatsoever. Oh, on the wow. Car, so when it comes to uh, washing it and caring for it, like what what do you recommend or how to wash? Treat it just like paint. You could wax it just like paint with a synthetic man-made wax. So basically, okay. as long as it doesn't have carnubus, that yellow stuff, that's from trees because it likes to yell the laminate over time. But uh, a spray wax, most of them are fine. Just make sure it doesn't have carnauba. It's recommended waxing at least once every three to four months. I always say every other wash, because it's really easy. You just spray and wipe it. Spray. Uh, we also offer Ceramic Pro. It lasts the lifetime of the wrap. That way you don't have to ever wax it. Um, it doesn't fade. Water just beads off. right off. Yeah, yeah, I've seen that. Yep. Yeah. Do you recommend doing the Ceramic Pro on? I mean, it's always recommended, especially if you plan on having the vinyl so on the vehicle for a what, long time. Can you explain to them what exactly the Ceramic Pro is, though? It's, it's just, just a ceramic coating. It basically fills in all the valleys of the vinyl. Okay. And it goes on in three different coats. And uh, it protects the vinyl from UV rays. It gives it a deeper, richer look in the vinyl. Okay. It helps so it won't fade. If you've ever YouTube Ceramic Pro, it's just some really cool yeah, stuff. Yeah. Is the self-cleaning feature of our product. The new slick surface repels dirt and water from your car, which means that you'll spend more time driving and enjoying your car and less time cleaning it. And your car will look better than when you first bought it. Don't hesitate. Book your Ceramic Pro treatment today. And one of my main concerns was because I have on my car, I have those satin stripes. And I was just wondering if that Ceramic Pro would you know, make either matte or satin yep. not look now we've uh, we've actually messed around with uh, all three textures, and it, it the only thing it does on satin and matte is it makes the color look deeper. People are worried that it's going to make it look, look glossier. Gloss. Yeah, it doesn't. It just makes it look deeper. It doesn't deeper of a color. Like let's say someone gets their car vinyl wrapped, can they come back later and get it ceramic yes. road? And it doesn't have to be right then and there, but obviously it's more ideal after okay. it's wrapped because that's as clean as it'll ever be. Uh, scratch freeze will ever be. Yep. Okay, and with doing that, can anybody do it? No, um, so in order to get Ceramic Pro, you have to have it installed by a certified Ceramic Pro installer. Okay. So, but there are many different ceramic coatings, um, but they're not Ceramic Pro. That's why my car is still here, yep. because I'm gonna have him put the Ceramic Pro coating on there, because I'm huge on like low maintenance, but are you certified? <laughs> yes. You are? Yeah. Let me see. <laughs> Bex is in the uh, yeah, where the f where's the, where's the where's paper? The, where's, uh, he showed me a license with a picture of Mickey Mouse on it. I think he's got it. We're good. Minnie Mouse. Minnie Mouse? Yeah. The easiest way to see if somebody's certified or not is go to Ceramic Pro's website and it'll have all their certified Ceramic Pro dealers. Oh, cool. Yeah. So if they say they're certified, you could go online, see if they are. If it's not on that website, right, they're not. These are just 3M. These are 3M. Most of their colors. How long have you been wrapping cars? About nine years. Nine years. Yeah. And how did you learn? Uh, trial and error. Trial and error. Private cars. You know, your personal. personal car. If any of you guys are looking to go get your cars wrapped, can you give the guys some pointers on what to look for, like regarding, like, I guess, a good installer, what they should look for? Yeah. So I guess when it comes to uh, a good installer, besides their prep work because that's the most important part of the prep work. Right. If the vehicle isn't prepped properly, cleaned properly, the vinyl's not gonna stick long term. Yeah. Um, the way we do it here is we basically prep it for a paint job, but we wrap it instead. So bumpers come off, door handles, badges, lights, anything and everything that needs to come off comes off. And it gets replaced obviously afterwards. But uh, if you wanna look for signs of a good wrap, look in all the corners, like around the windows, the door edges, bumpers, and see how those are tucked. If it looks like a bad Christmas present, yeah, it's not going to last very long. Yeah, and since he's wrapped my car, I've actually noticed a lot of other cars when I was at that show. I've seen a few other cars that were wrapped that you can tell the quality difference yeah. within even just the seams and everything. It's, it's crazy. Yeah. And so, that's just something I never paid attention to before until right. I got my car wrapped and I was like, wow. And then it actually showed how good of a job you actually did. Yep. This is what everybody wants to know. How much does it cost to wrap a car? And is the price different, I guess, for whichever wrap you choose? Yep. 
It is. There's a lot of factors that come into play, but the average wrap is anywhere from 24 to 2,500. It could vary, I guess, being within different areas too. Yeah, the size of the vehicle, the types of wraps. So most glosses, satins, and mats will run you about the same price. But when you start getting into the textures like carbon fiber, the brush, the color shifts, the chromes, the chromes are really expensive. That's when uh, you start forking out some money. Mm. Okay. Yeah, just remember, you get what you pay for. So if you pay $1,500 for a wrap, you're gonna get a $1,500 wrap job. Let's say a SUV, what would you say the price is on? Um, we've done a few SUVs. It's typically around 2,600 for the SUV. 2, Trucks are about the same, especially if they're a long bed. So a car is about 20? 20, 24 to 20, 25. 24, yep. depending on the that's, color. That's starting for, but most uh, most wraps are right around there. And what about the Ceramic Pro? Yeah, so it really depends upon the size of the vehicle, but uh, most cars are around seven to 800 for the whole Ceramic Pro. And that lasts a lifetime of the, the wrap. So you're looking at a little over 3,000? It with ceramic pro. with ceramic yep. pro that's not bad mm -hmm. because i've seen other wrap companies charge that just for the wrap yes especially up north so if somebody drops a car up how long does it usually take to wrap a full car uh it really depends which like yours for example um you just went from a black to that that gloss dark gray with stripes it takes anywhere from three to four days we always tell people a week just in case anything happens assembly or disassembly or vinyl wise but typically three to four days. Obviously, bigger vehicles take longer. We've yeah. done plenty of wraps in two days, two and a half days, yours, but uh, typically three to four days. Two weeks, too long. <laughs> two weeks, too two long. Two weeks, too long. Well, I think the only reason why it would be two weeks unless they're waiting behind customers yeah. too, right? Yeah, yeah. but uh, there's, there's a few places where they need their vehicle for two weeks. That's just, that's just way too long, man. That's way too long. Since you guys stayed here until the end of the video, we're gonna go over on how to win with the roof wrap and a roll of vinyl. So we got a few rolls and a few things you need to do to win this. And uh, one of them is we gotta get his Instagram account, I'll link it right in here, to 5,000 followers. And second one is like this video, share it, and you have to be subscribed to the channel. Comment below your Instagram name so we can go on there and see that you shared this video on your Instagram or something about this video on your Instagram to be picked. And um, did you want to add anything? Yeah, so we're going to be working with JD. Anyone local to the area, unless you're willing to drive, however far you want to, we're going to give out a free roof wrap to your liking, whatever it is. And uh, we're going to send you a full roll of whatever color you want. Doesn't matter if it's satin, gloss, color shift, doesn't matter. I'm actually gonna throw in a uh, JD Joyride TV t-shirt. That, that's you. worth it right there. Right there, yeah. that makes it worth Through it. Through the vinyl. Thanks for watching, let's get to the proper outro. There you go, I hope you guys got all the information and I hope this video helps out anybody, I guess, looking to wrap your car and if anybody is wanting a good wrap installer, I highly recommend him. He did an awesome job on the GT500. All the information is in the description below. Go check him out. Also give him a follow on Instagram. And I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Hit that subscribe button, like, and I will see you guys in the next video. Peace. Ha, 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 ha.